Good things, obviously. I thought our attacks were really good, especially in the first half. Played in great rhythm offensively, had a good balance. Um, and defensively, I thought we were pretty solid. I mean, we didn't get Tate under control in the first half. Lost shooters a couple times, but overall, I thought they earned just about everything else. Um, you know, it's obviously a, a good outing until the fourth quarter. Um, our defense really hasn't let us down very much this year, and, and that's what happened tonight. I give Houston credit. They kept playing. Um, but, you know, did a lot of good things, but you got to play 48. You know, and they kept running through the finish line, and credit them. Paris Lawson, OKCThunder.com. Uh, you talk about the attack, Shea, season high for him, and it seemed like he really led the charge there and, and getting to the paint. How big of a factor was he in just kind of leading that for your group? Yeah, he had a nice balance tonight. You know, they do a lot of switching, um, which obviously you end up in some ISOs from time to time. And I thought when he was there, he had a good balance of getting off at early, attacking inside the switch, and also in his ISOs, driving the ball, getting to the paint. He obviously got to the line a ton tonight. Um, to, it was a really good offensive outing for him. Andrew Schlecht of The Athletic, it was a career high in field goal attempts for Shea tonight. Is that a product of who's on the court with him or what he saw from the defense? What's your thought? Um, I, I think some of it's switching, to be honest with you. When you get switched that much, um, it's hard to, you know, create ball movement, you know, side to side with multiple passes when they're just switching everything. You're just going to windshield wipe. So at some point you want to play inside the switch and then you're going to have to attack a matchup. I thought we got some favorable matchups tonight with him. Um, you know, I, there's, you know, he shot, what, 26 shots? 26. I mean, it's a lot of shots, so I'm not saying all of them were perfect, but I thought he had a decent balance tonight. I didn't think he was just, like, jacking or anything like that. Um, and I didn't think it was a product of who he was out there with. I thought, you know, we tried to play the right way. He tried to play the right way. I thought we were okay there. Brandon Rabar, Daily Thunder. Trey Mann's first start. What did you think of his fit with the starters tonight? Uh, good. You know, I thought he did a nice job. I mean, it's not going to be perfect uh, when you play a guy 32 minutes for the first time. That's a lot of minutes in an NBA game. Um, and I thought he competed. You know, he had those shooters he was chasing around that he guarded the other night, and I thought he was pretty good there as he was the other night. Um, and then offensively, I thought he had a decent balance. He was aggressive. You know, I thought he missed some, one, you know, some of his little step-back stuff in the second half, but those are shots were encouraging him to shoot, had a good shot drive balance, played inside the team. You know, he did a good job. Uh, yeah, Joe Masato, the Oklahoman. Shea also had a career high in, in free throw attempts tonight. D did you like that part of his game being aggressive? Yeah, I mean, that's been something, you know, these last 10 games that's been down, to be honest with you. Uh, early in the season, we were, I think, top five or top 10 in the league and getting to the line. Uh, and over these last 10, we haven't gotten to the line as much. Um, and, you know, he's a huge part of that. And so for him to be in attack mode tonight, draw contact, get to the line, um, you know, it allows us to set our defense. Uh, it puts a lot of pressure on the other team. It puts them in the bonus. I thought, he, you know, like I said, he had a really good balance and attack tonight, and that was a huge part of it. Did you meet Drake? No, I no. didn't meet Drake. No. Right. I don't know Drake. Had to ask. And Drake certainly doesn't know who I am. <laughs> Christos Saltas, go ahead with your question, Christos. Hello, coach. Hope you're, hope you're doing well. How contagious is Shay's energy to the whole team? Uh, him and Lou, you know, I think that in different ways, I think Shay's confidence, his swagger, um, you know, he's a very lighthearted player. He plays with a lot of excitement and joy. Uh, and I think all that's contagious. And then I think Lou... Uh, creates a really good balance for us because he brings a lot of physicality and toughness and competitive spirit. Uh, he just kind of keeps playing and playing and playing. And so, um, you know, if those two guys are contagious with those qualities, then, you know, we're in really good hands, um, you know, seasons long. But, you know, those guys, they did a really good job of bouncing back from the other night. Uh, I was, you know, pretty impressed with how they played tonight and how they showed up. Uh, when we were a little shorthanded and, you know, we got to turn around. We're going to need them to be contagious again tomorrow.